throw out two and four from 2020. It counts. But in regards to what it meant for 2021, that's clearly been determined. It didn't mean much. It was an aberration. Everything before that was in the nine and three to 10 and two range. Uh, the, the talent, if you look at recruiting rankings, similar. The roster is similar. I expected Michigan to get back on track with what they had done in the past under Harbaugh, not to necessarily elevate to this status, possibly a national championship. Uh, so with like talent and um, the head coach the same, a uh, difficult schedule, uh, what, what do you attribute the, the different results in getting over the hump? Yeah, it, it's it's hard to pinpoint one thing. Um, and I've kind of discussed this a little bit in the last couple of days. And, and really, you know, since they kind of turned this thing around and you saw that they were a top 10 team, even before the Ohio State game, you know, this is a much improved team, uh, you know, program back on tracks. As Jim Harbaugh said, the train was going in one direction. They lifted it up, turned it around, and now it's going in the other direction uh, after a disastrous 2020, 2020 season, uh, now going into 2021. Um, I think it started with some of the staff changes that Jim Harbaugh made, uh, replacing six assistants, bringing back guys like Mike Hart and Ron Bellamy, uh, who played at Michigan, understand the rivalry games that Michigan plays in, understand what the culture is supposed to look like. And then the culture, you know, that all ties in, but it, it couldn't have happened without the leadership on this team. I mean, uh, talking about it with some people in the last couple of days, some of the all-time Michigan leaders on this team, Aiden Hutchinson, uh, who's a Heisman Trophy finalist, and, uh, you know, one of the best players and projected top pick in the NFL draft as it stands right now. Um, you know, him coming back, deciding to return for this team and, and understanding what it's like through his dad who played here and was, all, and was an All-American. You know, what needs to be done to get over the hump, to win a championship. Uh, you know, Cade McNamara has just, uh, you know, been an outstanding leader for this team. Andrew Vistardis, the center. Uh, Josh Ross, at linebacker. Those are the captains that have really turned this thing around. It's a mixture of just about everything. Uh, you know, this team, you see them, you know, we talked about it after the Wisconsin game, them jumping around on the sideline, despite, you know, Wisconsin having some momentum there at the beginning of the second half. And then, uh, you know, Nebraska, they were jumping around to whatever song they played. And, uh, you know, it just felt like the vibe and energy was different. Guys talked about it. A lot of people said, we'll see it when we believe it. So did I. Um, and then you saw it. And then you saw it week after week and week after week. And then you saw it against Ohio State, which is what matters the most, right? And then you saw it uh, against Iowa. So, man, I would say culture is number one thing. The people in the building, including the new coaching staff, is another. And then, you, yeah, you mentioned, I mean, some of the talent, uh, you know, feels similar to some of those other years. And I think, frankly, there were a couple of years that had more talent than this one on this Michigan team. But guys have stepped up, guys that we weren't talking about last season. Uh, that have emerged this year. Cade McNamara is obviously one of them at the quarterback spot. Blake Corum, uh, you know, becoming one of the better players in the Big Ten when he's healthy. Hassan Haskins raising his game from being the leading rusher last year to now, you know, he's in the top 20 in all-time, uh, you know, rushing yards in a season for Michigan. He's the all-time leader for Michigan in rushing touchdowns. Guys like that that were already solidified taking the next step and guys that we weren't talking about breaking out and having big seasons. So a uh, combination of all those things. And then, in addition to the culture with the new coaches, Mike McDonald and that defense, what he was able to do to turn this into an elite unit now. I mean, we're talking about one of the best defenses in the country with basically the same personnel that they had a year ago, you know, and even losing Quiddy Pay, you know, first round draft pick. Uh, you're talking about a huge step from being like ranked 100th in the country to top 10. So can't say enough about him. Uh, what they did on offense with Josh Gaddis, the coordinator. You could go on and on and rave about this team. Mark, because it's just been so impressive what they've done and what they've done, and I don't think you can pinpoint one thing for the differences. Um, it's just been a crazy combination of things that no one predicted uh, was going to all come together at once when we were talking about this team back in January.